any Texan worth his salt knows about manly footwear, boots are made to withstand decades of kicking around dusty corrals. But for every cowboy, there comes a time when those trusty ropers kick the bucket. That's where Clark the Boot Man comes in. Boots come from all over and all kind of places. For the most part, these are somebody's old boots. Every, all of them, all of them are somebody's boots. They got history, got stories, and, you know, and uh, I fix them up. Well, why does somebody want somebody else's old boots? They're comfortable, and uh, you know, new boots are not comfortable. Gotta I break them in first. Gotta break them in, these already broke in. If you thought your two-stepping days were over, think again. You see, Clark may not be a preacher, but he is in the business of saving souls. He spends his day rescuing ruined ropers, resoling and then reselling them. Try that and see if you like it. And from the way his customers talk, well, broken boots is a pretty safe bet. Hello. Hey, how you doing? All right. Can I help you, sir? I guess I'm looking for a pair of broken boots. to find broken boots that have been re-bamaged the way he does his. He refurbishes them, has them re-sold, cleans them up, and they're all in real good condition and ready to go. They look practically brand new, but they're already broken. Some of his techniques may be unconventional, but Clark's methods are all his own from the first stitch to that final polish. Is this your own invention right Right here, it looks I, like a it, it looks like an old Mountain Dew or Seven Up bottle. It is it that is. you crammed down. Is that is that something you came up with? Well, I use this, and and the reason obviously is to keep this boot from falling over. Have you got a patent on this? No, process? no, no. Have, I don't think about that. I don't think about that. <laughs> now I notice you're wearing these with the with the the metal tip here. Is that? Is that something really good to have on your boots, or you just like these or what? Well, the, the ends of these old boots were messed up so bad that I just put these on. That's kind a camouflage. Of, that's camouflage, that's it. That's yeah. your favorite pair of boots? Well, they're comfortable, so... We what size can, are those? About 11s. Would you, would you sell those boots? I'll wear an 11. Uh, I don't know, Bob. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll have to talk about that. <laughs> I noticed some of these boots have got uh, what looks like jewelry or something. I mean, that looks like a bracelet around it. Or what, what's yeah, that all about? Well, there's uh, companies that make boot jewelry. Boot jewelry. Yeah, and they uh, they dress up a boot. Women like that. I, I, I don't suppose a, a guy would wear something like that, though. Um, maybe if he was out of state or uh -huh. something like that. Not from around here. Not from around here. You wouldn't wear that if you were a guy around here. No, not. I've never had a guy come in here wearing this kind of. No, uh, yeah. No. Cowboys across Texas can rest easy thanks to Clark the Boot Man. As long as Broncos buck, he'll be working hard in his little shop giving new life to old boots. We get the feeling he wouldn't have it any other way. I want people to be able to put on a pair of boots in the morning and feel good all day long. Put them under the bed at night and be looking forward to putting them on in the morning. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.